For months now, I've been talking about this resistance on SPY. It goes back a year to January 2022, and it hasn't been broken yet. So over the last few days, we've been testing it three days straight. And I've been t telling myself, man, there's a lot of good trade setups out there. There's a lot of good plays that I would like to get my hands on. And I've been passing them up because we've been so close or basically right on that resistance that it didn't make sense for me from a market risk reward standpoint to get long on individual stock plays because if the market couldn't break through that resistance, it more than likely wouldn't matter what trades I was getting into or the odds at least of getting into a good trade would be greatly diminished because individual stocks are so heavily impacted by what the broader market does. That's just a fact. That's all it's always going to be. And so I'm trying to always put myself in a position to to have the best odds of success when it comes to trading in the stock market. Yes, I'm gonna have losing trades along the way. I've already had losing trades this year, but you want to avoid those losses that seem very obvious and seem almost inevitable. And so by trying to get into the market when the S&P 500 was sitting below its key resistance, just didn't make a lot of sense to me. So what I'm gonna do in this video, I wanna really have us look at this chart on the spy, look at the resistance that rejected price today and really just go over what are we looking at going forward here. But first, make sure to click the join button down below so you can get all my members only stock market research. That's going to be including additional videos each and every day. You're going to get watch lists, you're going to get trade ideas, a lot of good stuff, big tech updates, updates on the S&P 500 and the rest of the indices, really cool stuff. So let's go ahead and get to that chart right now. So here's our spy chart. And if you've been listening to this channel for even a couple of weeks, you know this resistance by heart, right? I've been harping on it quite a bit, but for good reason, man, look at, look what happened here. We got all the way up to this resistance on Friday, on Tuesday, we tested it. We couldn't break through it. We started to break through it today. And then the sharp, sharp reversal, it was like 86 points or so, or 88 points off the highs of the day on the S&P. That's a dramatic uh, turnaround from the highs to the lows. We settle at the lows of the day we break back th through the 200 day moving average through the five day moving average 200 day moving average being the white line the five day being the yellow line now we're testing the 50 day moving average and that's where we closed at today that's the red line so just because we got this sharp rejection which is what i was looking for wasn't guaranteed or anything by any means if we would have broken above it then i would have had to have reconsidered how how aggressive i want to be to the long side going forward but we didn't break through it so um the big thing for the bears tomorrow now is does it get follow through? Can it continue this downtrend lower? But you can see just one day in the market wiped out one, two, three, four days pretty much of gains. That's almost a solid week of profits for the, for the S and P 500. And that's why when it was here and here, those were days where we were getting too close to that resistance level, knowing what we've seen in the past with resistance here, and back in, in December, and then again in August, again in March and January, that it's worth taking serious. Now, what the bulls have to be careful of is that they don't lose this rising support level off of the October lows. I think this is going to be a very key moment for the chart market and for the uh, spy chart here is if we sell off, do we test the support level? Do we bounce off of it? Because that's probably the most likely outcome here in, in going forward is that we're going to test this rising trend line. Can we break it or can we hold it? If we hold it, then that opens up a opportunity for maybe a little bit of, of long exposure until we test this declining trend line once again. So we're, we may see ourselves bouncing around inside this zone for a while because this is look, looking more and more like it could be some good support underneath while we got this heavy resistance just overhead. Let me show you though. Another uh, view of this whole market, PayPal, for instance, this was a chart that was really intriguing to me. I was even talking about it on the YouTube membership. I was saying, guys, this, this inverse head and shoulders pattern here, left shoulder, head, and then you got a right shoulder, it could set up to be something really special. And then you had this declining trend line here as well, right? I mean, it was setting up for, for something that could see a breakout here and then it could take it all the way back up to there. So it was setting up nicely. But what I didn't like is the fact that SPY was sitting just beneath this declining trend line. So going back to PayPal, I say to myself, well, we can get in, we can get long. And if you would have chased it yesterday, then all of a sudden you hit this, get this hard reversal. You buy at the open, you're down like 3.6% already on the trade. You get a head fake on the breakout. It didn't make sense to me. I mean, you could take 
I mean, there's a Tesla, for instance, right? You take Tesla. This was showing a pretty nice like basing pattern here going forward. It had the opportunity. It broke out yesterday. If you bought it yesterday, you're thinking, okay, this is this isn't a bad start to the trade here, right? Let me shore up those lines just a little bit here. There we go. And so if you would have chased it out of the at the open today, thinking, okay, we're gonna break through it without a suit without getting that confirmation, we're going to close below the declining trend line on spy, then you got a 10, 10 point reversal on Tesla today. So what the broader market, what I'm trying to say is the broader market does play a key role for stocks in general. So it doesn't make sense when the market's extremely oversold or, or overbought in this situation for it, for you to start getting long, assuming that it'll just stay overbought forever. You really want to see when we're sitting against resistance and overbought circumstances, let's see what the price action will do. Can we break through it or can we not? And in this case, we're not breaking through it. So maybe tomorrow it'll reverse back higher. That's always a possibility. But you know, if, if I'm if I'm uh, playing this market, which I am, I'm, I'm short right now. I got short today. I'm looking for at least a, a rising, a test of this rising trend line right here. And if it fails to hold, then even better. Maybe I'll increase my short exposure from there. But with all that being said, we got that reversal off of this decline trend line. Key for the bears going forward is can it follow through to the downside? If not, maybe that rising support's going to give the market a little bit of a bounce that it needs to get back on the right track. So tell me down in the comments, what do you think this market's going to do going forward? Do you think this is the beginning of a next leg lower for the market? Do you think this dead cat bounce is done and over with? I want to hear all about it. Thank you and God bless.